Okay, so now you understand what salvation is. Asking Jesus Christ into your heart and receiving God's Holy Spirit in you. That's it. And now you are a new creation. And this is a new path, a new life for you. Another word to explain this to you, Elliot, is that when you accepted Jesus Christ on August 29th, you were reborn. Jesus Christ makes this very clear. You have to be reborn to enter into heaven. And this was very confusing at first to everybody uh, 2,000 years ago when Jesus walked on, the, on this earth sharing this with everybody. Excuse me. You have to be reborn. This is not a physical birth, like when you came out of your mother's womb. No, no, no. This is a spiritual birth, a rebirth in the Holy Spirit. It's amazing. You have to be born twice, Elliot, to complete who you are and get to heaven. God's human spirit will not be able to do this. You need the Holy Spirit. And you know, and you know this now. You understand this. So this is why I've been telling you we need to celebrate your birthday coming up on August 29th. This birthday, Elliot, is more important than your physical birth. Think about that. Your rebirth in Christ is, doesn't even compare. It is the most important part of your life, and it occurred on August 29th. And sadly, a lot of people don't realize, really, the importance, I mean, the, the amazing transition that took place when you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart and God sent His Holy Spirit into you. Most people don't understand all the parts that we've talked about now. But now you do. Body, soul, human spirit, and Holy Spirit. Now we need to talk about walking with Jesus Christ. Oh, this can be a huge topic, but I'm only going to talk about a couple basics. To have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and you, have, and you are saved, you need to walk with Jesus. What does that mean? That means having a relationship no different than you're having a relationship with your mom and dad or a friend at school. That's no different than a baseball teammate you know, on your team. You, you, you have a friendship. You have a relationship. I'm not going to get deep into this. But you have the Holy Spirit in you now, Elliot. And you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. As a result of your relationship, First, you should be praying. Not because you have to, but because you want to. Most people, Elliot, will not take the time to trust in Jesus Christ, will not trust in God. This is what I always repeat, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean or trust on yourself your life, Elliot, this life you have, living inside this body, your soul, you the soul, all of this. You have a choice to live your life by yourself or start living with your Holy Spirit. It's a living, breathing thing in you. It's real. And it's waiting to hear from you. Can you pray to your Holy Spirit? Yes. Yes. Can you ask your Holy Spirit for help? Yes. Can you ask the Holy Spirit to lead you where you need to be? Yes. Can you ask the Holy Spirit to help you do better and not sin or say bad words? Or think 
evil thoughts or trust in yourself? Can you ask the Holy Spirit to help you stop this? Yes! Because when you pray to your Holy Spirit, you're praying to God. God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ are one. This is why I am always telling you to pray. That's your lottery ticket, Elliot. That is your gold. God wants to serve. God wants you to walk the right path. But see, Satan is going to interfere. It's like what we used to talk about when you were young, really young. You got the devil on one shoulder, you got an angel, you got God on the other shoulder. Which one are you going to listen to? <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into this. But I want to make sure you understand that you have been born twice. And your most important birthday is the day you accepted Jesus Christ and you were reborn in the Spirit. Okay? Happy birthday, son. Happy birthday. Every year we'll celebrate this. And the question we'll always ask is that are we living the life that God wants us to live? How do you know what God wants for you? What is my purpose being here? Why did God create me? Why am I a soul walking on this planet? I'm here now. What do I do? I mean, I've had problems left and right. Look at everything that's happened. Hmm. The only way you're going to know the answers to that for yourself, Elliot, is pray to God on your own. And I say on your own is because you're old enough now with self-awareness what to do, and especially after you're hearing this audio I've made for you. You need to pray. Close your eyes and focus on God. I used to do it in the shower all the time. Bow my head, run the water on me, and just pray out loud. And you'll gain more confidence from the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in you. Elliot, this Holy Spirit in you is powerful. It's God. Trust in your spirit. Trust in God. Trust in Jesus Christ. Oh, sounds easy to talk about, but it can be challenging in our lives. This is why I've been so prayerful, and I have just just approached you in every way to ask you to start praying. Because once you pray, that is a relationship with Christ, a relationship with God. If you don't communicate with God, then you'll never know and see the power of God. You will th see things happen that will blow your brain away. You will not believe. You're only 15. You have a life ahead of you. God's will. You have been reborn. Again, born twice and you will go to heaven. Born once, you will go to hell. You need to know this so that you can share it with other people. I believe, and this is my personal, my own private feeling, and I don't trust feelings because you have to be careful that the feeling, but you have to be careful. Don't trust your human feelings for the most part because that's what Satan wants you to do and you're going to do foolish things selfishly. But instead, lean on the Holy Spirit. Wait for the Holy Spirit to speak to you. You'll know it when you hear it. You'll feel that drive in you. This is where you need to go. This is what I need to do. This is what I need to say. This is how you live your life after you've been reborn in Christ. But most people around you don't even know this. They don't even know the Holy Spirit. They don't even know how Jesus Christ can change your life. You are a new creation when you are reborn. You are a new creation. You are a new body, a new person. Your soul has been renewed. What has been broken off from the sin of Adam, the disobedience, 
has been restored now. You have fellowship direct with God. You don't need to go to anyone to speak directly to God. You can pray directly to God because you have a direct connection through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that he put in you. Amen? Learn, Elliot. Replay this audio so you understand. You have so much power, so much strength. When you wake up in the morning, it should be the first thing on your priority list. Pray to God. Ask Him to protect you and lead you and guide you and show you. Help me, Father. Okay, I digressed. I wanted more of this audio track to now focus on something we call renewal. You're still young, Elliot. You're 15 years old. But what is it, nine years ago, eight years ago? The, uh, <clears throat> um, August 29th, 2015? That's eight years ago. You have been a Christian. Everyone in their walk at one time or another will need to renew their faith. And I say this really with force. It's important. People get lackadaisical. They get lazy. They're not driven to go to church and find a church family to be a part of. They turn their back on God almost every day, living for their own selfishness, their own desires, their own self-interest. That is the opposite of how God wants us to live our lives. God wants us to focus and live as righteous as possible. Because we're in the, we've been made in the image of God. We have free will to love, to hate. God does not want you to live your life on your own. God loves you, Elliot, and God is waiting for you to come to him. Come to the Holy Spirit and speak, ask, and praise. Thank God for the salvation that you have now, having Christ in you, the Holy Spirit in you. You need to walk this path. But what happens is, Satan, this world, what it offers to you, all the junk, all the sin, all the temptation, all the things that you want now that you can't have, material things. This is life, Elliot. And just because you know it doesn't give you the excuse to turn your back on God. And this is what I wanted to tell you. Do not turn your back on God. It is far better to not have known what is right and what is wrong than to know and turn your back on God. Woe to that person. You need to do a few things in your life on a daily basis. Prayer. Remember, as you walk every day, you need to renew your faith and declare God as your Savior, Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. You need to declare this and ask God to get you on the right path again. This is why we need church. I don't want to get into that right now. But listen, Elliot, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have bad experiences. You're going to have a day where you just did nothing but sin. You messed up for years. And there will be a time that you finally come and surrender again and renew your faith, declaring Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. I don't want you to drift away. And using teenage years as an excuse is the worst thing. There are no excuses, Elliot, because you are self-aware. 
you are self-aware. Renew your faith by praying and declaring Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're already saved. You can't lose your salvation. But you need to walk straight and narrow as best as you can. You will mess up. You will sin. We all do. But to deliberately know that you're doing wrong and you turn your back on God, don't do it. Give God a chance, Elliot. Give your Holy Spirit the attention it deserves and ask for help. Ask for specific things, but always give praise. And ask God to bless your family. Ask God to help others around you. Don't be selfish. This is not all about you, but your family. You need to be praying for things that you know God can do. You need to pray for confirmation. What does that mean? Ask God, do you want me to go through this door? Do you want me to make this phone call? Do you want me to meet this person? Do you want me to go to this church? All of these things play a part in your relationship with Jesus Christ. Renew your faith. I've done it a few times in my life when I've drifted away. I won't lose my salvation. But my life is messed up because I've chosen to trust myself and not God. That happens to all of us because we're not perfect. But don't, don't stop praying to God. And at times of your life, remember to come back and renew your faith. Hopefully, that won't happen too often. As your father, I will hold you straight and narrow. I love you. Next audio track will be about confession. <laughs>